uh, it is narrated that towards the end of his life, Imam al-Bukhari was going on a journey to uh, make a purchase, some, some business transactions. Obviously, Bukhari had to dabble a little bit in business. And so he went on a ship to go to a land, uh, we don't know to purchase what, but he had with him a good amount of money, 10,000 dinars. 10,000 gold coins is probably like uh, maybe a quarter of a million dollars. That's a lot of money, like 10,000 gold coins, he had them. And he's on a ship and the ship is a long journey. In the process of the ship, he befriends somebody and it turns out this somebody was of a low character, evil character. And Imam Bukhari just happens to have a conversation with him and says, yes, I have 10,000 dinars, I'm going to buy such and such thing. You know, whatever it might be. The next day, news spreads that the captain of the ship is saying, somebody has stolen 10,000 dinars from this companion of Bukhari. And we will search the whole ship to see who has 10,000 dinars. You understand what he's done? He's flipped it around now. And the guy is saying, somebody stole my 10,000 dinars. Now, even if they had found the 10,000 dinars, eventually Bukhari's name would have been exonerated because simple. I mean, Bukhari can tell you the characteristic of the dinars. Bukhari can tell you things. The man hasn't seen the money. But he's just attempting to get this big money, perhaps far-fetched chance, right? Maybe he might get it. So the cap, uh, uh, when Bukhari hears this, he takes the bag of gold coins, puts it in his, uh, in his sleeve, goes to the top of the ship, and then when nobody's looking, he throws it into the water. The captain searches top to bottom, nothing is found. Later on, the man comes and says, I know you weren't lying, you're Imam al-Bukhari, you must have had the money. Where is the hiding place? Now, the plot has been exposed. Imam al-Bukhari casually told him, I threw it over this overseas, just threw it overboard. The man said, what? Are you a fool? I mean, even if I wasn't able to get it and I lost, at least you could have benefited. Now neither of us benefits. So what did Imam al-Bukhari say? He said, I have spent a lifetime making sure that my credibility is clean so that the ahadith of the Prophet will be accepted from me. And this is worth much more than 10,000 dinars. That can go, but my reputation cannot be tarnished or else the hadith that I'm narrating will be tarnished. So he gave up a fortune just so that possibly a question mark might not come. That where, where did the 10,000 go? We don't know the real story. So uh, Imam al-Bukhari simply got rid of it just so that his image is not uh, tarnished.